What's going on? So remember in my last video when I said that I would be making a lot of videos more frequently? I lied to your face, so I apologize on behalf of that statement because it was an extremely false statement. Indeed, it was very false. But um, I'm sorry, it's because I'm working two jobs. I work at a camp. I'm a counselor for second grade boys. And I work at Bed Bath & Beyond at night, so I really don't have time. But I have time today for a little bit at least until my mom gets home or whatever. But uh, my head went out of the frame. Sorry about that. Um... I don't really have anything. I never, I really, you know what I really should do? I really should actually frame out my videos. Because then I would probably get more views. Because they'd be a lot more organized. And people would be more inclined to watch it. But I never know what I'm going to talk about. It's always like a fucking, like, I don't know, random. Like, I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Um, what can I talk about? Um, uh, can I talk about, uh, maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, I went to a show last week, uh, last week, yep, to see North Korea. If you don't know who they are, uh, one, you shouldn't be watching my videos because you suck. Two, go look them up. There'll be a link to something. I don't really know what. It'll be linked down there. I'll figure it out once this video is done, what the link is going to be. But it'll be something pertaining to that band. If you know Envy on the Coast, you know North Korea. That's just basically it. North Korea has the singer and guitarist from, the, from um, Envy on the Coast. And, um, they're pretty f freaking sick, I must say. But, um, I went to a show in Long Island, which is about an hour drive, but about a three-hour public transportation ride. Yeah. And, um, I went, and it was downpouring, and, uh, I didn't get lost, though. Did not get lost. Very proud of myself. I had to take... Actually, I got a ride from my friend to the train station, so he blessed my life. So, I got a... I took a train to the city, then took a subway over to Penn Station, then took a train over to wherever where it was, which is Amityville, which is like in the middle of Long Island. Luckily enough, the bar that they played at was literally a two-minute walk from the train station, so that was really good. Uh, and surprisingly enough, when I got there, which was kind of late, it was about an hour and a half before doors opened, but there was like a legitimate line. There was a good like 20 people in front of me. Not that it mattered, because like the one thing... This is, I was at, uh, Broadway Bar? Was that what it was? Broadway Bar? Something. It was on Broadway. Whatever. But, uh, I will say this. The sound quality of that place sucked really, really badly. I'm sorry, it really did. Not that the show wasn't good, it was just sound that just really wasn't good at all. But, um, anyway, I got in. And, first thing I noticed was, like, the people right in front of me were the same people that were online in front of me for and beyond the coast's farewell shows so that was really really cool and um i didn't tell them that because i didn't want to be creepy and be like oh i remember you from that show but yeah that's really why they were there and um what else they also liked my shirt they commented on it it was a closure in moscow shirt if you don't know them you need to go look them up too and uh i don't know anybody that likes them honestly i don't know anyone that knows that band but apparently they know them, and they like them, which is really cool. So, um, that's that. But anyway, uh, neighbors opened up for North Korea, and as usual, they were freaking ridiculous. And, um, it's kind of cool when you, like, when you stand online in the rain, and then, like, one of the band members comes up and, like, hugs you because they, like, know you. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so I got to say hi to some of the band members, not all of them. Uh, while I was in line, which is pretty cool. And uh, so they played a ridiculous set, and they have a new song, and they keep playing at all their shows. I don't know what it's called, but it's like, like I jam to it harder than any of their other songs, but I don't know what it's called, and I want to know, and I want the freaking song. So if you watch this, neighbors, can you please tell me what the song is, or like put it on your Tumblr page, like something, because I really want to know what it is. Really, really good. Anyway, um, then two other bands played. I didn't really have opinions about them. They were okay. And then, um, who played? North Korea played. And it was just awesome seeing Ryan again, like, after all these months. Can't say it was a year, because it literally was less than a year since I saw him on stage singing his heart out. But, um, he was there, and in a matter of seconds, like, pretty much as soon as he stepped on stage, like, the whole freaking crowd shifted. Like, I was, like, the stage was here. Where is it? The stage is here. Like here and like I was like three people back like I was like here and the stage is right there which is fine I can see everybody 
But in a matter of seconds, I was literally front and center. Like, I got pushed there. I did not even like I wanted to be there. It's just I got pushed there. I didn't have a choice in the matter, which was fine by me. Except for the fact that, like, because I'm short and because of the, the way the, the stage was lifted off the ground, Ryan's crotch was in my face. It just was. His crotch was in my face about 95% of the whole entire set. Which is fine by me, once again. I don't have a problem with it. But uh, it was really, it was very, it was difficult for me. Like, because I didn't want to sing into his penis. But that's kind of just how it happened. So I would, like, lean up to try to sing to him. But, like, I mean, my neck started hurting. So I was like, you know what? You know what? Eye to eye. I don't really care. Let's do it. And um, he hit me on the head. He hit me on the head, but then he apologized, which was really nice of him. And uh, their set was pretty freaking sick. I wish they played at a better venue, but, uh. Hopefully I'll get to see them again in the near future at a better venue. But um, it's a very good show. Very, very good show. And I got home safely without getting hurt or lost. It was awesome. Like, I'm good at this. Like, this whole, like, navigation through public transportation. What? Anyway. um, That is pretty much it. I don't have anything else to talk about. I'm going to see the premiere of Harry Potter tonight for free. What was that? Did I hear? Did I hear people being jealous? What was that? Um. So yeah, I'm going to see it for free. Uh, the premiere of it tonight. Pretty freaking stoked. Kind of crazy how it's over, but you know what? Life goes on, does it not? Yes, it does. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm over this. I'm gonna go eat some food and go cash my check because I got piz aid yesterday. What? Anyway. Um, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. I'll try to do another video soon. I'll probably do a video before and or after I go to Warp Tour, which is, which is next Saturday. And it's all in the clear. I requested off for it. I have Saturday and Sunday off because I need to recover for that entire day. So, if you, anyone, speaking of which, if anyone is going to the show to Warp Tour on July 23rd at Uniondale, please comment Wherever you saw this, may it be Facebook, Tumblr, where else would it be? YouTube. That's basically it. If you see it any of those places and you're going, please let me know. Because I would like to meet you and, you know, maybe we could see a couple bands together and just meet up or whatever. So, anyway, it's been fun. I'll talk to you guys later.